Here's my 2019 Vexus AVX 1980. I'll start at the front of the boat where I've got the Ultrix 80 foot-pound thrust, 24 volt trolling motor, Humminbird 360 imaging, TH Marine prop nut, Garmin live scope, upgraded trailer step, factory swingway tongue, factory spare wheel and tire, Garmin 94SV, Humminbird Solix 10, Here's your trim and nav light controls, factory recessed trolling motor, pedal assembly, get a tool holder, cup holder, power pull wireless switches, upgraded uh, rod buckles on both sides. I've added hydraulic shocks to these lids, a TH Marine plastic holder up here. Keep all my spare tackle, line, and then the Garmin Live Scope black box in there. Compress, compression latches, as ever, I'm sure everybody knows. Here's the cooler. It's held ice for three days for me. Pretty sure it would go another day, but I have pulled ice out after three days. At the console, you'll see Humminbird heading sensor. I've got a Solix 12 mounted up here as well. You've got your trim switch and then you've got your jack plate switch over here for the Atlas hydraulic jack plate. I have an on and off toggle switch for the Humminbird network. Turn it on and off. I've added the electronic pedal control for the Evernerud G2 and also a RAM mount phone holder right here. It's kind of hard to see. It's on an adjustable mount so you can move it, position it however you want. I've got a power pull switch right here. Here's your live well controls. You've got empty, auto, and recirculate. And your flow right drain plug control cable in and out for your drain plug. Back here I've added uh, hydraulic shocks as well. Keep life jackets, mask, extra tools, towels. Currently I have lithium batteries in here. The boat will not be sold with the lithium batteries. I will put in a brand new set of Pro Guide batteries. However, if you want something different, we can arrange for that. The boat will come with the Minn Kota Precision Digital Charger which I've upgraded, it's not standard. The wiring is wired up to a LED fuse box, as you can see, nice and neatly done. Behind it, I've got a ground bus bar. Everything is fused, upgraded wiring for the electronics to provide the best imaging out there. On these compartments, everybody says they're large. Well, that's because they are, they're very deep. As you'll notice there, I've got the hydraulic shock on that one as well. The upgraded coin box in the middle here. Let me get down and show you the back of the boat here. By the way, I do have the Victor trailer package. Like I already showed, the rod buckles up front, the matching fenders, upgraded wheels, all that good stuff. Here you will find the Humminbird Mega Imaging transducer mounted off the jack plate, two power pole blade power poles, they're eight foot, the 2019 Evinrude G2 150HO, power pole uh, lines are run through the back here, nice and neat, rubber grommets, very cleanly done. Again, the Atlas jack plate, which is hydraulic. Motor's in excellent shape, boat's in excellent shape, everything electronic works perfect. No chips, nicks in the prop or the skeg. I mean, people that know me know I sell boats every 10 to 12 months, just what I do. It's not because there's a problem or an issue. In fact, I have loved owning this boat. I'm contemplated going up to the 20 foot model just because I'd like to have a little bit bigger motor on the back. 
I'm used to running 70s when I owned my last five Phoenix boats. Um, however, I'm really impressed with 58 miles an hour. I'll show you how I load this boat here in a second. I do not keep it lightly loaded. I load it heavily. And for it to hit 58, with the way I load it, I know it has potential for more. I'll show you here. I keep this much tackle in the boat at all times. Over here on this uh, interior light switch, you'll see the LED light that comes standard under the console. Notice I did install the golden rule ruler and you'll see the LED lights in this compartment that I have added. On top of that, I have added the compartment lights over here and the hydraulic shocks. Typically I have 13 to 15 rods at all time and this much tackle. You'll see the hydraulic shock on this side and the LED lights as well. This coin box is very, very handy. I keep phone, you know, extra fuses, towels, screen cleaner, all that kind of stuff in there. On the live wells, notice the Calco Fishing 2.0 clip and call. A little dirty, got some shad spit up in there from a couple weeks ago. I probably should have rinsed that out. The live well does come with the divider. I do not keep it in there unless I am fishing like a BFL or a tournament where we've got pros and goes. Compression latches, again, this boat is set up and ready to run. If you have any questions, please message me, call. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, one thing I'd like to point out is the actual size of this boat. And the compression latches again. Lids fit nice and neat. But plenty of room up here on this front deck. Especially with the Garmin and the Hummingbird. Those two combined, I mean, you can't get any better than that. Like I said, any questions, don't hesitate, let me know.